Alright, welcome to my first little review. Um, it's going to be a mini review. Uh, naturally, it's going to be probably 10 minutes long. I don't care. Uh, it's going to be for the 3D Classics version of Xevious on the 3DS. It just came out on the eShop today. You can pick it up for $5.99, otherwise known as $6, but $5.99 sounds a little more appealing to the marketing sense of the mind, so, you know, just pick it up for that price. It's almost 6 whatever. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore, dog. Holy crap, I've been talking with one breath for so long. Oh, my God. <sighs> okay. Anyways. Xevious, if you don't know, is a top-down shooter in the vein of 1942 where you are a little ship flying up a screen and that is all you really need to know. What makes it interesting though is that instead of shooting just ships in the air, you also have to focus on things that are shooting at you from the ground. You can't shoot at them though, but you can bomb them. If you notice the cursor on the screen in front of my ship if you notice that, that is actually your aiming reticule for bo dropping bombs. And the characters on the ground, the enemies on the ground, are what those bombs are for. The bombs are useless on enemies in the air, but on the ground it's the only way you can defeat the enemies that are on the ground. Naturally, that would mean that your regular fire shot thing doesn't work on enemies on the ground, it only works on things in the air. That would be a very correct assumption. Good job. Um, <clears throat> and now, sorry, I'm new to this, okay, so, what's cool about the game, what's cool about the 3D effect is that it's actually more than just an aesthetic thing, with 3D Classics Excite Bike, um, with 3D Classics Excite Bike, they the 3D was there just for fun. I mean, it's just for funsies. Like, oh, look at that! You can see the depth of view. I mean, you can see it changing. You can. It's really high, but it didn't really it didn't really help you in the game at all. In Xevious, that's different though. The 3D helps immensely. Now you're wondering how? How could it help in a shooter like this? Well, here's the thing: when you're playing in 2D you can see all the enemies on the screen but you never really know are they flying in the air or are they on the ground like you can't discern them except for the fact that some of them on the ground they are stationary or moving in a pattern whereas the ones in the air are not moving in a pattern they're just moving you know freely and that's the difference but sometimes you just don't have time to think about all that so that's where the 3d effect comes in and it works so well let me tell you what if you've ever played this game before on the NES, Atari 7800, Xbox Live Arcade, um, it's probably on the iPhone, I don't know. Um, if you've ever played it anywhere in 2D, I, I think a lot of people go through that learning curve where they're not sure, am I supposed to use bombs or not? And it's hard to juggle those things, but with 3D on, it separates the foreground and the background, I, I guess you could think of it as the uh, sky and the, the floor, um, it separates them, so you know that the enemies in the air, you know that they're there, and you know the enemies on the ground are on the ground. It helps immensely. I think my runs in 2D have been averaging like 10,000 in 3D. I think my highest score is 40,000. Um, so that is the game in a nutshell. Now let's take a look at the options. You have start game, records, and options. Records shows your last five top scores, your top five scores. Um, <clears throat> and then you also have your options menu. You have controls, 3D options, and credits. In controls, you can customize um, a lot of buttons. Uh, you only need two buttons, though, Zapper and Blaster. Zapper is the, uh, the, the gun. You know, that gun that shoots. And then the, the Blaster is the bomb, I think. Um, right here, you can in 3D options, you can change the intensity of the 3D effect. You can't see it in 3D right now, but you can see the trick they use. They separate the bottom screen and the top screen more and more. And that gives the illusion that the 3D is a little... Um, that gives the illusion that things in the background are much further down and the things in the foreground are much further up. And speaking of that, if you want a game with good pop-out effect on the 3DS, this is it. Definitely try it out if you want that. If you're 
sick of the pop out effect of the activity log pencils this game has a lot of great 3D pop out um, so yeah I strongly recommend this game I hope you enjoyed this review it's the first review I've ever done um, but I strongly recommend this game if you're a shooter fan if you want to see some great 3D and if you want something addicting you can pick it up for six dollars on the 3DS eShop so uh, I think you should give it a shot <laughs> see what I did there alright peace